Are you on your way to retirement and quitting that nine to five? Well, the real question here is that, are you even ready for it? Do you have enough savings? How much should you save for your retirement? Planning for retirement seems straightforward enough. Just figure out how much money you'll need to put aside and where to support your ideal lifestyle once you leave the working class. But to truly accomplish that aim calls for self-awareness, endurance, and perseverance. It calls for years of monthly savings of a sizable portion of your income. It also entails being aware of the fact that the earlier you start saving, the longer your investments will have to gain from stock appreciation, dividend reinvestments, and interest payments. Retirement is a stage of life at which one decides to leave the workforce behind forever. The majority of industrialized nations, including the United States, have a national pension or benefit system in place to augment retirees' wages, and the usual retirement age in these countries is 65. The Social Security Agency, or SSA, in the United States, for instance, has been providing retirees with monthly Social Security income benefits since 1935. Goals for Retirement Spending After leaving the working force, you should be able to spend 80% of your pre-retirement income. And if you make $100,000 per year at age 64, your assets plus Social Security should be enough to support $80,000 per year at age 65. But that's simply a general guideline. Spending more in retirement may be necessary for those with expensive spending habits, higher medical costs, or larger debt loads. The 4% rule is another simple method that adds a bit more customization. The 4% rule simply states that you can calculate how much to save by subtracting 4% from your projected annual retirement income. Your annual savings goals by age can then be determined using a retirement calculator. The 4% rule. What is it? How much a retiree can take out of their retirement account each year is governed by the 4% rule. Savings for retirement are supposed to last for 30 years. The 4% rule. You require a retirement fund of around $2 million or $80,000 divided by 0.04 for an income of $80,000. This plan counts on an investment return of 5% after taxes and inflation, no supplemental retirement income like Social Security, and a standard of living akin to what you would have when you retire. To spend $50,000 a year in retirement, for instance, you would need to have saved at least $1.25 million, or $50,000, divided by 0.04 by the time you were 65. Your retirement goal increases to $2.5 million for an income of $100,000 or $100,000 divided by 0.04. However, there are some presumptions built into this technique. The first is that you won't have any significant emergency or medical costs throughout your 30 years of retirement because you'll be living off of your nest egg. It also assumes a 5% after-tax and inflation return on investment. In your favor, it also doesn't include supplementary retirement income like Social Security, so depending on the 4% rule can enable you to achieve your objectives earlier than you intended. How to save for retirement at your desired level by age group When times are tough, focusing on your future goals can help you achieve your saving goals by age. Yet simply having objectives won't help you achieve them, you also need to take action. Another easy rule that counselors frequently suggest is setting aside 10 to 20% of your total monthly income each month. Often used as a midway ground is 15%. Theoretically, if you begin saving 15% each month by the time you're 25, you can retire at a comfortable age of 62. You can retire between 65 and 70 if you start saving at the age of 35. This idea, however, has some drawbacks of its own. It starts by assuming that you have a sufficient income so that setting aside 15% of your take-home pay will eventually be able to support a decent lifestyle. Saving even 10% of one's income might be difficult though, as more than 60% of Americans live paycheck to paycheck. 
Some experts advise beginning where you can, even if you can only save 5-7% to per month to help tackle this issue. After that, you can increase your savings by 1% to 2% annually. Although this tactic could make you feel unprepared, anything is preferable than nothing. And ideally, as time goes on, your income will increase, enabling you to boost your contributions in the future. The following simple actions will help you increase your savings potential at any age. First, stepping up gradually to the 15-20% savings target. Second, establishing automatic payments through your banking, investing, or payroll service. Third, putting enough money into a 401k or other employee retirement program to receive the maximum corporate match if applicable. Fourth, employing financial wellness programs supported by employers. And fifth, utilizing a budgeting app to manage your finances. Together with these objectives, I've also gathered some age-specific advice to help you achieve your retirement savings targets. First, making retirement savings calculations. Online calculators can be a helpful tool to help you meet your retirement savings goals in addition to using the methods mentioned above to determine how much you should have saved and by what age. For instance, they can aid in your comprehension of how shifting savings and withdrawal patterns may affect your retirement fund. Despite a large number of online retirement savings calculators available, some are much superior to others. A couple of tools to check out include the Maxify ES Planner and the T. Rowe Price Retirement Income Calculator. The answer to the issue of how much money you need to save for retirement is a crucial component of retirement planning. The answer varies depending on the individual and is mostly influenced by your current salary and the retirement lifestyle you want and can afford. Understanding how much you need to save based on how old you are now is just the first step, but it sets you on the path to help you meet your retirement objectives. To calculate the figures, you can utilize a few straightforward formulas. Second, understand the average retirement savings by age. Many people find that observing how others are doing on their journeys gives them ideas for their tactics. According to age, the following retirement savings averages were obtained in the Federal Reserve's 2019 Survey of Consumer Finances. Under the age of 35, $30,170. From 35 to 44, $131,950. From 45 to 54, $254,720. From 55 to 64, $408,420. From 65 to 74, $426,070. And from the age of 75 and older, $357,920. These values are considered to be the usual retirement savings. Let's dig deep into these age groups your 20s. In your 20s, it's unlikely that you'll have a high salary, but that shouldn't stop you from saving. Create an emergency fund first. Save at least 3 to 6 months worth of living costs in a high yield cash account over the following 10 years. Beyond that, think about enrolling in a plan offered by your company or opening an IRA. If at all possible, make a contribution that'll earn you the entire corporate match. Otherwise, get the most out of your tax-advantaged savings by using your IRA. Your 30s When you turn 30, you should be advancing up the corporate ladder and making enough money to settle any student loans or credit card misdeeds from your 20s. Do not ignore your retirement funds as you concentrate on these objectives though. You should check your contributions every year to retain your company match. Keep in mind that they should increase with your income. At this stage, you should also have enough cash set aside in a cash account to cover your living expenses for at least 6 months. If you've accomplished this objective, you might open a standard brokerage account to quicken the savings process for a house or car. Your 40s Your 40s can either be a time of exciting transition or the point at which you fully commit to your profession. In either case, maintain working toward your savings objectives and refrain from using your retirement funds if you decide it's time to make a significant purchase. You can think about expanding your emergency fund to cover expenses for 9 months during this time. It's a good idea to invest in your taxable brokerage account above and beyond your contribution caps. Speaking of that, 
remember to routinely examine your regular contributions. Your 50s. A financial perk of being in your 50s is the option to catch up contribute to your retirement account. Use this opportunity to save more money while you can. To protect your current earnings, you might also seek advice from a financial counselor on when and how to transfer your investments to lower risk assets. Consider boosting your emergency fund after reaching your contribution limit until you have the costs of one full year saved up. Pay off any lingering debts such as your mortgage or credit cards if you have any extra money left over. Your 60s and beyond. It's important to take a close look at your portfolio as you approach your senior years. Complete the asset reallocation to protect your current savings and, where possible, increase your income. If at all possible, delaying Social Security benefits until age 70 will significantly boost their size. Age-based retirement savings. A savings account is insufficient. People often mention using a retirement and brokerage accounts to maximize your potential in all of them. It's simple. Regular checking and savings accounts, even those with high yields, simply cannot match the long-term returns of investments. Investment accounts are highly valuable because of the strength of equity appreciation, dividend payments, and interest earnings called compound interest. Yet even then, just any old brokerage or retirement account won't cut it. Choosing one that supports your objectives while providing lots of room for long-term growth is crucial. You'll be able to save more for retirement at times and less at others. Go as near to your savings target as you can, then monitor your progress to make sure you're on track at each checkpoint. If you have access to one, a 401k can be a smart place to start investing. If not, consider an IRA. Always remember a disciplined approach of setting aside even a modest part of funds each month can easily add up over time when it comes to retirement savings. Several brokerages have no minimum, no fee retirement accounts that permit users to set up recurring $25 or $50 monthly installments. So save wisely for your retirement. I hope you received value from this video. If so, like, subscribe, and click the notification bell. Please share this video with your like-minded friends. Till next time.